Congratulations on the acquisition of your new BlackBerry device. We will now get ready to install your device so that it can receive emails from your Pop3 account. This is called setting your Biz account, B-I-S for BlackBerry Internet Services. But first, your provider must have given you three pieces of information. First, the address to access this site. Secondly, you should have your IMEI and also your PIN number or personal identification number. So from here, press on Create New Account from the screen that you've reached on the web. Pressing Create New Account will now bring you to a legal form. Please read the information and once you're in agreement with the information, press I agree. Now you're presented with the screen where you will enter all the information for your BlackBerry Internet Service account. First, you require your PIN number. Your PIN number is composed of many numbers and letter combination. Enter those. And your IMEI right under, which is normally a long string of numbers. If you don't have this information Andy. Press on the track wheel on your BlackBerry, go over the option icon or the little wrench, press on the track wheel, select the status menu, and once you've selected the status menu, you will see the information of the IMEI and PIN number will be displayed toward the bottom of that screen. Enter this information here, and it will be taking you to a next screen which will ask you to create a user ID and a password to access this account. This screen to log in is looking like that. So enter your information to log in the account. And right under, enter the password that you've created to access your login. This will take you to the main screen where we can personalize all the information for your BlackBerry Internet service. We are now into the screen where you can set your email account. You can see we already set here one email account and we will go through this mechanics in a few seconds. First screen is setting email account. To the left you can see all the different menus that are available. The second menu and we will come back to setting your email account right after. First let's do a quick tour of this section here. The settings. If this is not your first BlackBerry device and you've purchased a second one and you're upgrading to a newer model and you need to change the PIN number and IMEI of your new device, this is where you would come to enter your information. So change handheld would basically bring you here, enter your new PIN, new IMEI, and press save and that would reset your device to transfer the information to the new BlackBerry that you have. If you want to change the language of this BlackBerry setting screen, you can select from either English or French. You can select the language of choice and press save and the screen will all be changed to give you all the information required. Same thing with your password. By pressing on password, it will bring you to change your password. This is the password to access this biz site. So if you want to change your access password, you can come here and enter the new password, confirm it, and it will change it. The next one is service books. Service books is a feature that's very practical if you're having problems with your BlackBerry. If you're experiencing difficulties, it's not receiving information or seems to be out of sync and doesn't work properly, come here and press on send service book. This will send to your BlackBerry all kinds of information and reset the operating system so that you get up to the most recent information in your device. But let's go back to setting an email account. Those are the three features or functions that are available here. At the top you can see the email account we already set initially. You can create a new account by set up account right here. Or you can even create a BlackBerry address if you want to have a specific BlackBerry address created on the, on the system. But we will not look at this feature here. We will look just at setting up a new account. 
to your extreme right, you can see a edit function. You can edit the content of your account. You can filter, create filters that will prevent uh, emails from getting to your BlackBerry, or you can specifically delete this account. But let's go to set up the account. Press on the button to create your new account. You can have up to 10 different Pop3 accounts created to allow you to receive info from your BlackBerry. So up to 10 accounts can be created. Let's go there and enter a valid email account that you have for your transfer of, of messages. So I will create my information right there by entering the info on my computer. So once you've entered your email account, I enter a password and confirm the password of my email account so that this BlackBerry server can go and pick up all the information that I will be receiving on this specific email account. So I press next and the BlackBerry will confirm that your address is current and existing. So you may get a message saying processing, wait. Once you have done that, you will basically receive a message from your BlackBerry server saying you have successfully configured this specific address. So now you can see that the second address we've created is existing. It's right there. And we can, as I said earlier, create up to 10 different addresses where you can pull the information from to be sent to your BlackBerry. Now let's move to filters. And we want to create, for example, for this specific account, a filter which will prevent junk emails or distribution list information to be sent to my BlackBerry for nothing. No filters have been configured so far, so we want to create one. Press on click here to create a filter, and then you will be presented with a menu of different choices. Filter the information by creating first a name that you want to give to your filter so you can find it afterwards. When does it apply? So it can apply when new mail arrives. It can apply on high priority mails that you don't want to receive. It can apply from people that are sending you. It can apply also on subjects that are being sent to you. In this case, let's say I pick subject and I'm, I want to prevent, for example, a specific distribution list to get to me every week for him. let's say it's it's being dispatched from your company and you want to prevent that let's say it's called promo list so if the promo list is part of the subject field this information will be filtered and not sent to your device once you've created this you can just press on add filter and the filter will now be created on your device so you can see now that we've created at the top here a test, which is your filter that has been created for this specific account, BlackBerry at dcsolutions.ca. I can go back by pressing on this button to the, to the right here to edit the information. Or if I want to stop this filter, I can also basically press on it and delete it to uh, remove the filter. So this is how you can create a filter rapidly, which will prevent the information from getting to your BlackBerry. If we go back to the main account, so now you can see that we've created two accounts and you can create, as I said earlier, up to 10 accounts. To your right, so using the edit information, you can create specific signature for each one of the addresses that you will have into your BlackBerry, helping you to save time and reply faster to all your correspondent. Once you've finished setting up your information, your BlackBerry will start receiving your email. You can log out and you're good to go. Have a great BlackBerry day.